How's it going, guys? Today we're going to be going over a uh, very, very typical interview question. It's called FizzBuzz. I feel like this one's very famous, and typically I think companies just use it to really see if you just know what you're talking about. Honestly, it's really just a way to weed out people and to know if you're worth spending more time on, I think. So this is a good one to go over just to make sure that you have your bases covered, um, that you know all the basics, and that you know you don't get cut early in the process for knowing, not knowing something simple like FizzBuzz. So, the problem description says, write a program that outputs the representation of numbers from 1 to n. But for multiples of 3, it should output fizz instead of the number, and for the multiples of 5, output buzz. For numbers, which are multiples of both 3 and 5, output fizz buzz. So basically, we're going to write a loop from the number 1 up to and including n. And at every iteration in our loop, we're just going to add something to an array that we're eventually going to return. So if the number is divisible by 3, we'll print fizz, or rather add the string fizz to this array. If it's divisible by 5, we print buzz, or add buzz, the string buzz, to the array. And finally, if it's divisible by both 3 and 5, like 15 here, we're going to add the string fizz buzz to our return array. So again, as you can see, we're just iterating from 1 up to n, and n in this case is actually 15. So if we want to start writing the code for this, the first thing we want to do is make a list of strings, because that's what our function is going to return, as you can see here. Uh, I like to call this result, whatever I return, and we'll make this a new array list of strings. Now, we just need to actually iterate through all the numbers from 1 to n. So for int i equals 1, well, i is less than or equal to n, because we want to include n, i plus plus. And now we need to check our conditions, right? So first we want to check if i is divisible, so modulo is a really good way to check if a number is divisible uh, by another number. So in this case, we're going to check if i can be divided by 3 evenly, and if it could also be divisible, if it's also divisible by 5, then we just want to say result.add, and then the string fizzbuzz, because that's what they want for if the number is divisible by both 3 and 5. Otherwise, we want to check if i, else if i, mod 3 is equal to 0. So if it's just divisible by 3, we'll say result.add fizz. Otherwise, if i is only divisible by 5, result.add, and we'll say buzz. And finally, if none of these things are true, we just want to result.add the number. But remember, the number that we're on i is an integer. So to add it to a list of strings, we just need to convert it. So we'll say integer dot two string and pass it the value i. And so now finally at the end of this loop, all we should have to do is return result. And let's see if this works. Awesome. So it's accepted. So let's check out the details. And leak code tells us that we pass eight out of eight test cases. It says 40th percentile. I don't really trust that. So let's try submitting it again. Cool. Now it says 99th percentile. Uh, awesome. So guys, that's how you solve FizzBuzz, the programming question in Java. Again, it's a super simple question. Make sure that you guys can do this when you're applying to any company. I hope this helped, and I'll see you guys next time.